Myth number one, is new Metal Sonic faster than Super Sonic? All right, so we're gonna test this out right now. So I'm gonna start running as Neo Metal Sonic and combine that with boost, I'm averaging around 300, 430. So now let's swap to Super Sonic. All right, so now we're Super Sonic. Let's see if he is faster. Oh yeah, he is way faster. He's most likely capping at like 500 and like 40. So that myth is busted. Next myth, can Neo Metal Sonic spawn in lightning? You will actually see that right there. You, he spawns in lightning. So that's his little idle animation. I think it's really cool. So that myth is confirmed. He can spawn in lightning. Myth number three. Is Neo Metal Sonic the tallest Sonic character inside a Sonic Speed Simulator? All right, so I just put on Vector and let's see if he is taller than him. Now, no, he is not. I don't think he is taller than him. I think a Neo Metal Sonic is slightly taller. So that means that myth is confirmed. Myth number four. Can Neo Metal Sonic breathe underwater? for as long as he wants so let's see i'm gonna jump in the water and let's see if there's a timer three two one and no there is no timer he can infinitely breathe underwater for as long as he wants so this myth is confirmed myth number five can neo metal sonic fly in the water so let's test this out right now and let's jump and click e yes he can't fly in the in the water this myth is confirmed all right for the next myth can you break the speed barrier on diamond terminal and as you can see if you just pull out a hoverboard which is right here all you have to do is boost infinitely and if you keep doing it as you can see your speed will keep boosting up and i would not recommend doing this on a older PC or on iPad, because it might crash your iPad. But as you can see, it's going super, super, super fast. And you can infinitely do this for as long as you want. So this myth is confirmed. Next myth, can you glitch outside of the diamond terminal? So all you have to do is hop on this bar right here, grind on it, land in this middle pillar, run all the way down right here. And then there's a little gap up here. You jump up here and you can't really go from it anywhere else. But you can just fly around. Maybe you can try to like land on these bars. But yeah, that myth is confirmed. Now for the final myth. Do you get something exclusive to Sonic Speed Simulator when you finish the Hunt First Edition event? So you do get Camper Knuckles and a badge. But let me show you what the badge actually does. So what the badge actually does. It gives you tokens in the Hunt game. And what you really have to do is complete other maps. Like for example, this Football Fusion 2. Dungeon Quest. Legends of Speed, Survive the Killer, etc. So what you have to do is complete these games and they'll give you these little Roblox tokens. And when you click on the Hunt First Edition, you will actually get Battle Pass items. So for example, when, I, when you get 95, which if you complete all the games, you will get the Special Crown. And Sonic Speed Simulator was actually a part of this. And it's right here. So as you can see, all you have to do is walk into it. I'll teleport you. And yeah, that's what you get for completing Sonic Speed Simulator. So myth confirmed. All right, guys, that is it for the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, notification bell, and I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Peace.